All right guys, today let me show you how you can make your very own professional looking manifold. before we get started if you have not seen the video that I put out a few days ago go ahead and check that out I'll put that down in the link below that's the video of this whole manifold in action and if you like what I'm doing here feel free to subscribe to my channel that will really help me out a lot and hit that bell notification to be notified when I put out new content all right so before we get started I want to make sure we go over safety first so let's go over some of the tools that i am using to get this manifold built and remember this is a diy setup do it at your own risk i hold no responsibility if you get injured all right so here are the tool requirements glove for safety uh, clear cement glue pvc primer pipe cutter measuring tape sandpaper razor two sets of pliers and my power drill now make sure when you're using uh, the clear cement glue and the PVC primer that you're doing this outside or in a well-ventilated area. So here's the manifold mocked up. Uh, I have right here, as you can tell, there's three T fittings. These are three fourth inch. And then there's two 90 degree elbows. And then I had cut the um, three quarter inch piping to about two and a half inches for two of them. And then the other one was 2.75. But what I would recommend is just make it 2.75 inches for all three of the uh, three quarter inch pipe. Uh, that way, if you needed to replace your gate valve, you can actually just take the... Um, the knob with the valve in the front off and then you can twist the body off. The other thing is because uh, the bracket sits in between that you want to make sure you have enough gap in there so that the bracket can be mounted on to the uh, underside of the cabinet. And the bracket actually fits nicely in between that uh, the two T fittings and the two outside um, 90 degree joints or elbows. And uh, with that gap in there, it'll make sure that you have enough uh, clearance to put that bracket in to mount it up. All right, for this T to the elbow manifold, we need a 3 4 inch schedule 80, two inch long approximately. Got to cut that to two inch so that way it'll fit um, as close as possible to each other. Now, uh, we need about four bushings here. Um, these bushings are three quarter inch to half inch because the uh, three spears gate valve are half inch now if you want to go three quarter inch you can probably do that you just have to modify this piece right here and get something that would work with what uh, you're doing but for this case I'm using half inch um, the spears gate valve so I have these three bushings for the spears and then I have the fourth bushing uh, to the other valve where I'm going to use to feed water to my ATO slash frag tank setup. All right, next we have the uh, half threaded and half slip on. So the threaded piece goes into the Spears gate valve and the half uh, that is a slip on slips into that bushing. So you need three of these. And uh, to get this pipe threaded, I actually bought the pipe already threaded from uh, the store from pretty much the uh, irrigation water irrigation system uh, section so as you can tell it's threaded on both ends I just cut two inches off each end and then use that for the Spears gate valve so I actually bought three of those sticks with six possible threaded ends but only end up using three of the threaded ends and then I kept the other as backup in case I messed up on cutting uh, these three that I needed all right, so go ahead and take a pause and uh, cut all the pieces that you need and go ahead and start gluing the manifold together. And uh, after this, I'm gonna show you 
the piece that I have going to my ETO setup, but not the full piece, just the piece that I currently have on it at the moment. And then we'll get that knocked out before we go ahead and proceed with the splitter or the Y piping that I have uh, to send water from the pump to the manifold and then to the display tank. So we'll get to that in just a bit, but for now, let's take a look at the uh, T section that's sending water to a another different type of valve that it's then going to my ATO frag tank setup. All right, so this is a hydro seal Kaplan one and a half inch valve, and it's got two unions on both ends, and it's connected to two 90 degree, one half inch schedule 80 elbows. So to get the pipes connected, I have cut a one and three fourth inch um, half inch piping to connect the T-fitting to the elbow and then from the elbow to the top elbow um, I had to cut a two inch long one half inch schedule 80 pipe and this gives it the appropriate length so that way the valve itself sit as close to the top or the bottom of the tank ensuring that it is flush. All right, so hopefully you're following me along just fine. If you are unsure of anything I've mentioned here feel free to leave it down in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer that question to hopefully make it clearer for you. If you've been following thus far and you enjoy what I'm putting out, please feel free to like this video. Also uh, subscribe if you can and hit that bell notification so that you're updated anytime I release new content. All right, so here is the manifold fully assembled. So the last thing I did on this manifold is I installed the three quarter inch union. You can tell there right by the T-fitting and uh, that is connected to a three fourth inch PVC schedule 80 piping about two inches long. And that is to keep the union as close to the T-fitting as possible. All right, so I hope you have your manifold set up just the way I have it uh, if you're following along. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the Y splitter. And that is a key component piece that we'll have to make sure that it's set up properly so that it'll line up with the manifold. All right, so here is the Y splitter. Let's take a look at this from the top going down. And at the very top, we have the other half of the three quarter inch union. And then we have a long piece of PVC pipe to another union. And then from there to a, uh, a pipe to a 90 degree down to a T-fitting, which then goes down to another union, down uh, with, with another pipe to the coupler or the adapter that mounts straight to the J-bow. And then on the other Y leg, we have it going up at an angle to another angle to a barb fitting and then the actual barb at the top. Make sure that the bushing at the top is threaded and not a slip-on since the barb is threaded that way you can actually thread or tighten the barb on top of that uh, bushing all right so let's take a look at the pipe that connects the adapter to the union and that pipe is two and one quarter inch long with a one quarter inch gap between the two and then if we look at the top piece it is 3.5 inches long connects the elbow to the uh, union so you want to make sure you get all this assembled the way it looks like right here, but do not attach or do not glue the angled uh, 45 degree angle fitting just yet. All right, so now for this intermediate piece, it's uh, seven inches long for my setup, but I advise you to hold off and don't uh, cut that piece just yet until you have the top manifold on. And then you can measure out how much you actually need to cut to get to fit between both unions. All right, so now let's take a look at this angle piece here. This is 245 degree angle um, uh, elbows that I've uh, connected together just to give it a slight angle because this is the one that's going back up to the, the uh, display tank. So it has to be angled in a certain way so that I can get it to line straight up with the tubing for the Red Sea Reefer that sends the water back to the display tank. All right, so you want to glue both angles together and then uh, glue in the bushing and then tighten on the barb at the top 
but you don't want to glue that angle piece to the T fitting. That's the last thing you do because you want to be able to still swivel that or swing that around to line it straight up with the tubing that is going straight back to the display tank. So um, again, you want to make sure that you do not glue this piece on, this angled 45 degree piece to the T fitting. You gotta be able to make adjustments when needed. And then once everything's in place, then you can mark it with a permanent marker, line it up, take it out, do your final gluing. All right, now uh, when I placed the pump inside the sump area, and then I had placed in the Y splitter and uh, lined up the barb, I noticed that my barb was a bit too tall. So I had to cut it a little bit. So as you can tell, the barb is cut a little bit at the top just so that it'll be able to slip right under the uh, Red Sea bar so that they'll both line up. All right, so this part is going to be a two person type job because it's going to be impossible for one person to do this. Um, but you want to start mounting up your manifold. And the easiest way for me was to get a second person to hold the manifold. And then what I did was I actually positioned the uh, manifold to line up with the, uh, the Y splitter. And at the same time, make sure that the Y splitter was um, lined up straight to the pipe that was going back to the display tank. So I had to make sure they were both lined up before I can mount the top. And I kind of cheated. And what I did was I actually uh, cut that seven inch uh, pipe and then put the both unions on and then use that to mount onto the top manifold and the Y splitter in order to get it to lined up. And then once I lined up just that first bracket, I was able to measure out the rest of the bracket and um, I was just using a straight edge and kind of measured out where the uh, holes uh, needed to be for each of the bracket and then I just did that three times and then I uh, mounted the uh, brackets onto the uh, top or underside of the cabinet with the manifold on. So that's how I got it to mount up. And then afterwards, what I did was then I swiveled, you know, I had to go back and make sure that the uh, 45 degree angle with the barb fitting was at the correct position, shooting straight up into the display, uh, into the tubing that goes back into the display tank. So. I had to make sure the splitter was lined up before I actually mounted the top manifold on. So this again is a two person job. So you're going to have to enlist somebody to help you hold it up while you line up the Y splitter. All right. So what you want to do now is actually glue that intermediate pieces with the two unions. Uh, since you have that dialed in, it should be at the, uh, at the appropriate length. You want to make sure you could glue those two unions on and that they'll fit snug and tightly between the top manifold and the Y splitter. And then last but not least, you want to make sure that that angled piece with the barb is at its right position. And then you want to mark the uh, T fitting with the um, angled piece. That way, when you take off this Y splitter to go glue it, you know exactly where that uh, needs to be positioned, that uh, angle piece. So um, that's the last step and that's what I did to finalize everything and then I let it set out for about a day before I came back to install the Y splitter. And the final piece is to cut a 3 4 inch clear hose and connect both barbs together. And what I did on mine was I actually have two plastic clamps that hold them together. All right, guys, so here it is again, the full manifold installed and in operation. And I hope that this uh, tutorial helped you or at least give you some idea on how you can build your very own manifold for your setup um, just by following what I have on mine here. So again, guys, if you are unclear of anything that I have uh, put out here, feel free to leave it down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to respond to your message. And if you enjoy what I put out, feel free to subscribe. That will help me out a lot. And thanks guys for watching. And likewise, I'll see you guys in the next video.